raise the roof the whole night. The crazy rhythm goes to my soul and it's dynamite. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 tap dance scenes in movies. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite and most exciting collection of these dance sequences throughout movie history. Did we miss any of your favorite tap numbers? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Condos Brothers – Hey Rookie Siblings Nick, Steve, and Frank Condos were three incredible tap-dancing brothers who got their start in the 1930s, dancing in a few Hollywood movies. If you're looking for some old-school, remarkably fast, and technically perfect tapping, they've got you covered. Some of this family's best work can be seen in 1944's Hey Rookie. During this musical film starring Ann Miller, Steve and Nick show off their skills in this high-energy number. It's amazing the two manage to stay perfectly in sync given how fast their feet are moving. This scene is definitive proof that this family has plenty of tap talent. That's That's all. All. Number 19. Town Called Malice – Billy Elliot The only thing better than a coming-of-age movie is one that's centered around the freedom of dance. In 2000's Billy Elliot, a young Jamie Bell plays an 11-year-old named Billy, whose dreams of being a ballet dancer upset his coal-mining father. Lads do football or boxing or wrestling, not friggin' ballet. Out of the many amazing tap sequences, the best tap scene comes when the boy vents his frustrations by dancing to Town Called Malice. The way the choreography combines classic tap moves with Billy's utter desperation results in an extremely moving number. It perfectly encapsulates childlike frustration in a beautiful and energetic way. <laughs> number 18. The Worry Song – Anchors Away Gene Kelly's perfectionist attitude towards choreography and his habit for pushing the limits on what a dance sequence could be made every one of his scenes stunning. One of his most memorable scenes takes place in 1945's Anchors Away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. You see? During the story of two sailors on leave in Hollywood, Kelly tap dances with the cartoon mouse Jerry. The sequence required the utmost care to pull off. Animators had to painstakingly use rotoscoping to match the mouse's movements with Kelly's frame by frame. Since Kelly did not downplay any of his skill during the dance, we can imagine how difficult it was for the technical crew to give us this fantastic duo's work. Number 17. Lois Bright and the Miller Brothers – Heidi Ho One of the best tap trios of the classic Hollywood age consisted of Lois Bright and the Miller Brothers. This acrobatic group was known for performing their numbers on platforms of various heights to give audiences a breathless thrill. Thankfully, they delivered again in 1947's Heidi Ho. During this musical featuring an all-black cast and helmed by the famed band leader Cab Calloway, Lois and the Miller Brothers perform atop platforms that spell out the word Miller. <laughs> a 
It's awe-inspiring to watch them skip and hop from letter to letter with graceful ease. As they dance to increasingly greater heights, we're uplifted too. <laughs> Number 16. Abraham, White Christmas If you're in the mood for an excellent tap partner dance, we can't recommend White Christmas enough. Well, watch the tempo on the last part. Hey, keep it rocking, will you, fellas? While the movie is generally known as a Bing Crosby vehicle, Vera Ellen and John Brasha delivered an absolutely dynamic number. Set to the song Abraham, tap dancers Vera Ellen and John Brasha are about as jaunty and as full of pizzazz as you could be. perfectly in sync for every turn, move, and clap. The height of their energy is only matched by the height of their talent. By the end of the scene, you'll be grinning as widely as the duo is after pulling off such a bright and beautiful performance. <laughs> Number 15. Let's say it with firecrackers, Holiday Inn. Legendary performer Fred Astaire gave us a particularly explosive sequence in 1942's Holiday Inn. Astaire's Ted is one-third of a song and dance act that goes through trials and tribulations throughout the film. At one point, Ted needs to come up with a unique tap number on the spot. After spotting a bit of firecrackers, an iconic number is born. Astaire starts the routine by looking cool as a cucumber as he masterfully taps around the stage with a cigarette in his mouth. Suddenly, he takes things up a notch by throwing a firecracker to the ground in time with the music. Although the mini explosions add an element of danger, Astaire looks joyful during the entirety of this impressive routine. <laughs> Number 14. Dance Down the Stairs, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Tap dancing on its own is no easy feat. So seeing someone tap down the stairs in rhythm is a mind-blowing sight. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You sit right here. You sit right here, and I will give you an idea of what I mean. It may not be much. I'm not the dancer I used to be. But then, who is? Now, watch carefully. Now. In 1942's Yankee Doodle Dandy, James Cagney stars as George M. Cohan, a.k.a. the man who owned Broadway. And believe us, Cagney more than lives up to that name. <laughs> In this number, he swiftly and gracefully taps his way down the stairs to the film's title song. His ability to keep rhythm and flexibility in his body is unmatched. While it's a short number, Cagney handles the complex sequence with such ease that it demands our attention. Number 13. Ann Miller Solo, Small Town Girl a star of early Hollywood and famous for her lightning speed dances, Ann Miller proves her chops in this delightful musical film from 1953. She pulls us in with enchanting singing at first. Till I hear that beat, I gotta hear that beat, that certain beat in my heart. Before long, Miller is dancing to I Gotta Hear That Beat and energetically tapping around as the band plays along from underground. Yes, you heard us right. Miller has no real backup in this number or partner to feed off of. Yeah. 
It's just her, her infectious smile, and her feet moving as fast as possible. She comes alive in the spotlight and never misses a beat. It's a truly breathtaking solo. Number 12. Prove Me Wrong – White Knights What happens when you take not one, but two of the best dancers of their generation and put them together in one scene? You get an incredible tap sequence for the ages. White Nights, the incomparable Gregory Hines and Mikhail Baryshnikov play two dancers who start out at odds. But they end up finding chemistry through the magic of dance. In this modern and distinctive number, Hines and Baryshnikov bring their own signature styles to the table. They're able to look past their differences and meld their styles together. The symbolism behind their willingness to learn from each other enhances this special and mesmerizing number. Number 11. Lullaby of Broadway – Gold Diggers of 1935 an iconic sequence made the film within a film, Lullaby of Broadway, unforgettable. The number is absolutely packed with a huge crew of tap dancers. While they all move in sync, it feels and sounds like we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. But this electrifying routine is full of smaller and more intricate choreography, too. While you may see three dancers moving in sync one moment, the rest of the huge crowd is bound to follow suit a moment later. Watching this massive number takes our breath away every time. The hard work that all these dancers put in culminated in a routine that feels like the stuff of dreams. A table for two, a lady divine, a rhapsody blue, a bottle of wine, then you'll listen to a siren song. Come and shuffle along! Come and dance. Number 10. Too Darn Hot – Kiss Me Kate Go, girl, go! It's too darn hot. In this musical, inspired by Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, Ann Miller shows off her tap dancing skills in a hot pink ensemble that heats up this sultry number. According to the latest report, every average girl you know much prefers her lovey dovey to court when the temperature is low. Throughout her career, Miller was renowned for her speed as a tap dancer, and it was rumored she could tap 500 times per minute. This began because she had to wear rubber-soled dance shoes, which would give her enough traction to dance on slippery, waxed stages. As a result, the audio of her dancing had to be separately recorded and synced to her film performances in the editing room. Miller had other spectacular tap numbers, but this one is unbeatable. Number 9. Begin the Begin – Broadway Melody of 1940 When they begin the begin, listen to it bringing back the sentimental sound of music so tender. This MGM film brings together Eleanor Powell and Fred Astaire, the only appearance that paired these two tap legends on screen. Not only is this sequence considered one of the best tap dances in film history, it's said that Powell was the only female dancer who could outshine Astaire. With production beginning in 1939, the set of the Begin the Begin dance number cost a whopping $120,000 to build, worth over $2 million today. The 
The revolving mirror panels behind Powell and Astaire create an enchanting dreamlike background, and they seem to float across the stage as they dance. Number 8. Boogie Wonderland – Happy Feet Boogie Wonderland. Happy Feet, Mumble is unable to sing to attract a mate, so tap dance becomes his alternative form of self-expression. As Gloria, whose singing voice is provided by Brittany Murphy, sings this Earth, Wind & Fire classic, Mumble uses his moves to express his lifelong love for her. The rhythmic beats and slides of this dance style are a perfect match for the sound of penguin feet on ice. While the film utilized the vocal talents of Robin Williams and Hugh Jackman, motion capture technology was used to animate the dancing penguins. I'm best uh, expressed through the feet, just like Mumble. <laughs> According to director George Miller, dancer and choreographer Savion Glover and his distinct dancing style was a perfect fit for Mumble's unique character. Number 7. Table Dance – Pardon My Sarong In this Abbott and Costello film, the tap dancing group Tip Tap and Toe show off their silky smooth sliding moves. With the jazzy song Shout Brother Shout performed by the Ink Spots, the dancers take turns on a restaurant table with their fun and fluid routine. Throughout the 1930s and 40s, this trio delivered an enchanting blend of comedy and tap dance to a number of musical comedy films. When that river miss you, shout, brother, shout, don't be afraid. The best description of dancer Raymond Winfield's style comes from the Library of Congress. Quote, Winfield slid forward, backward, sideways, and around, as if he had buttered feet on a hot stove. Number 6. Nice Work If You Can Get It – A Damsel in Distress We can always count on Fred Astaire for a memorable performance. While there are countless unforgettable dance numbers from Astaire throughout his career, this film was his second to be directed by George Stevens. With a cast that includes husband and wife comedy duo George Burns and Gracie Allen, A Damsel in Distress has plenty of music, dancing, and laughs. In this scene, Fred Astaire shows off a wide range of his talents with a whimsical flair as Jerry. Filmed in one continuous take, the musical number features a jazz tune by George and Ira Gershwin that's now considered a standard. Not only does he deliver a fantastic song and dance, but he also plays the drums with his feet. Number 5. Good Morning, Singing in the Rain Good morning, we've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Co-directed and choreographed by Gene Kelly himself, this musical has no shortage of impressive dance numbers. We know the solo in The Pouring Rain is a classic, but Good Morning takes the cake. After Dawn's first talking film is an absolute disaster at its preview, Kathy and Cosmo help him find a way to save the picture. They express their excitement and relief by singing about the new day. This delightful scene sees the trio dancing around the house, jumping onto furniture, and dancing with their raincoats. Amazingly, Debbie Reynolds had no formal dance training prior to being cast in Singing in the Rain, and held her own under Kelly's strict demands. The stars 
repeated takes of the scene for 15 hours straight before Kelly decided to use the first take. Number four, Bury Me Not, Panama Hattie. The three Barry brothers danced together in several Hollywood films in the 1940s, including this musical set in the Panama Canal Zone. Their acrobatic moves are comparable to the better-known Nicholas brothers, and the two groups even competed against each other in public in 1938. With their effortless and elastic performance, you'll want to brace yourself for the end of the show-stopping dance scene in Panama Hattie. If you look closely, the Berry Brothers tear through the railing as they leap off the balcony. Number three, the stair dance, the Little Colonel. I went to the market for to get some beef. And the beef's on top. And I couldn't get enough. I paid five dollars. Performed by Bill Bojangles Robinson and a Shirley Temple between six and seven years old, this beloved tap dance was the first interracial dance performance in a Hollywood film. Since 1918, Robinson had been known for this rhythmic staircase routine and even attempted to patent it. <laughs> back on her film career, Temple recalled how, quote, Robinson taught her how to feel the beat, rather than count it out. Their warm chemistry is tangible in this scene, and the two went on to co-star in several films together throughout the 1930s. Say, you catch on quick. <laughs> Look, I hear your last one. With this number, Robinson and Temple showed that you don't need more than a simple song and a staircase to perform a captivating dance. What's going on around here? Number two, challenging the tap masters. Tap. That's a big Gregory Hines had already tapped up a storm on screen before Tap's release in 1989. brings together many fantastic African-American tap legends of the 20th century. In this challenge scene, Gregory Hines is pitted against Arthur Duncan, Bunny Briggs, and many other well-known tap stars. What about them legs, boy? Many of these dancers would have been in their 50s and 60s when this sequence was filmed, but none of them miss a beat in this energetic sequence. Ending with Hines and Sammy Davis Jr. going head-to-head -head in an intense dance battle, this scene seems to symbolize how Hines carried on the legacy of black rhythmic tap dance from his influences. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Babbitt and the Bromide, Ziegfeld Follies. Two masters come together in one excellent scene. Drum Dance, Rosalie. Eleanor Powell beautifully taps to the beat of the drum. Dancing on the Ceiling, Royal Wedding. This gravity-defying scene will leave your jaw on the floor.
shaking the blues away, Easter Parade, Ann Miller shakes and taps like no other. Fascinating rhythm, Lady Be Good. Even as the set becomes more impressive, we never take our eyes off Eleanor Powell. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jump and Jive – Stormy Weather Now can't you hear those hepcats call? Come on boys, let's have a ball. The jim jam jump if the jump and jive makes you think your jive on the mellow side. Hep, hep. Loosely based on the life of Bill Bojangles Robinson, Stormy Weather follows the dancer's career after his service in World War I and presents the talents of various African-American performers in the 1940s. In this scene, Cab Calloway leads his band with Jump and Jive, accompanied by the dancing Nicholas Brothers. It's hard to believe your eyes when watching this legendary routine, with the brothers leaping over each other and landing into splits, reportedly filmed in a single take, it's no wonder that Fred Astaire has called this routine, quote, the greatest movie musical number he had ever seen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.